was feeding. In this video, you can see the squirrel put the acorn in its mouth and then search around to make sure it is safe. After he knows he is safe, he starts to eat the acorn by holding it in its two front paws and eating the acorn. The squirrel has four main front teeth it uses to help eat the acorn. While he eats, you can see him look around to make sure there are no predators close to him. A squirrel on average will eat 0.27 pounds of food a day to keep up its calorie intake for energy. In this video, I took it at 6 o'clock in the morning when the squirrel first wakes up and knows it has to eat. Just like in the paper by Amy Young in 2013, she talks about how the eastern gray squirrel knows when it has to eat. The best time for it to eat is usually when it first wakes up and before it goes to sleep. Also in the video, you can see the squirrel searching around in the grass for acorns to eat. Searching for acorns is a major part of a, day, of a squirrel's daily routine because he knows he has to eat to survive. Four levels analysis hypotheses. Causation. The eastern gray squirrel knows when it is hungry because the neurons in its brain lets it know it is time to eat. Development. Younger squirrels observe and learn from their parents' feeding habits, and as they get older, they start doing those same feeding habits. For example, in the article by Joel Brain, 2018, he discusses chimpanzees and how when they're young, they learn from their parents. Evolution. Squirrels inherit from their ancestors and need to eat a certain amount of food a day. Like in the article by Jeffrey Dempsey in 1993, Function. Squirrels feed because they have to eat to survive. If a squirrel doesn't get enough calorie intake per day, they can end up getting sick and dying to, due to not having enough calories to live. In 2018, Aaron Johnson talked about the competition of squirrels and their out energy intake to survive. Optimal foraging theory. Eastern gray squirrels will choose food items that will give them the most energy, minus the energy it takes to search and consume it. This is why they choose acorns to eat. They are generalists. They can be adapted with food when they need to be. They are a solitary animal because they live alone, unlike other types of squirrels. They use sensory methods to find foods, such as shape, size, odors, and visuals. They are omnivores. Thank you very much, Jordan Counts.